We're in the studio again today, and as you can see, I have my tripod set up. I have a foundation board laid on the floor, and uh, uh, camera's ready, and battery is charged, we're ready to go. The item that I'm shooting today is a food item, and I decided that um, I would make uh, an image of butternut squash soup. I'm looking for something that would have the theme of the season. And since we are moving out of fall, autumn, and moving into winter, soup seems to be a good uh, food of the day. And I personally love butternut squash soup, so I thought I would uh, photograph that. I chose a background that has a very deep blue color because the butternut squash soup is a very deep, dark pumpkin orange color, and I'm trying to get some contrast there with the colors, the complementary colors. So uh, I have my color scheme, and uh, now I need to pull together a few of the items that will be props or support the story I'm trying to tell with this bowl of soup. I pulled together a few of the props that I think I'll be using in this shoot. I've got several different cloths and napkins, different colors, different textures. As I'm not so let's get started. Clearly this bowl is too small. I need to use a larger bowl and I'll keep placing things and judging whether or not I'm happy with the result. I think this larger bowl looks much better. Start adding a few more of the props that I want to use in this shoot. This is where we're adding layers, the board underneath the bowl, trying the off-white um, linen back to the blue cloth. And now it's starting to come together. This one is clearly edited. Still rearranging and trying different things with this shoot. I always encourage close-ups and different angles whenever I shoot a still life. This one, the spoon, sort of becomes the topic or subject. I added some more garnish to the soup, and I love this detailed image with the light. Here's a pullback of the setup when I was finishing up this shoot. I have lots of light in this room, which I love, but sometimes I have too much. So that's why I've used this um, portfolio board to help block some of the light. So I hope that helps you uh, to see my process and how I approach each shoot for still life, pull together the props that will support your subject matter, take a look at color theory, and always, always control the light as best you can to really enhance your subject matter. I hope these ideas help and let me know if you have any questions.